Hello and welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Saigon and we're playing hard mode. It is time to resume our campaign with our rigor Sparklight, who has recently um, started to uh, explore cyber uh, tech a bit more. We're saving up to basically get our uh, body all chromed up so it's um, our next target uh, but in order to afford that we need to do a couple of runs and today hmm, what am i feeling like you know what that sounds like a great idea we're going to do some sabotage another optional mission uh, none of uh, the other runners would be for free so it's the same team again <clears throat> and i felt really uh, did a decent job uh, to be honest um, let's maybe consider taking gaishu uh, this time instead of duncan i want to see if he can uh, adequately replace him and we're using Isabel and Goblet again. So that would mean we do have, let me see real quick. We do have one dog wagon contract. Isabel does not have one. Goblet has a second one. Yeah, we got some uh, some med kits here. So yeah, we, we should be fine. Plus we do have a, a decently balanced party. All right, let's give it a go, guys. Good, here we go. Let's take a look at our team. We got two dog wagon contracts, a lot of healing, and yeah, Gaichu is going to be our frontline character. We also got uh, the spell uh, from last mission, which we can sell, as well as the talisman of the mummy, which we haven't equipped, uh, but we could sell that as well. I'm not 100% sure. I've not had the uh, Gaichu with me the last time since we're in a building. We might trigger security, to be honest. Okay, uh, so the security officer is uh, pretty dubious. And we just managed to bring our entire team with us. Perfect. Good. Let's take a good look uh, from here on onwards. The idea of this run is we want to uh, smash uh, the entire upper floor of this Wuxing uh, building and that should kind of set the key, um, the Fen Shui of this place uh, out of sync. Good, I think we did not have anything important here. There's certainly a lot that we can do in the matrix and that is why we've brought Isabel with us. So let her do her job. Good. I think given that it's a large um, complex, we might as well like push our way through. And this, by the way, is a serious uh, situation because uh, that is white ice, very aggressive, nasty ice. Um, we do have a couple of programs, though, kind of summonings that we can use as long as uh, they are not dying. And we can even buff them. So we got an assassin program and a shield program. Let's start with the assassin program, which can, as the name suggests, simply assassinate um, 
assassinate um, enemies. The ice doesn't really stand any chance, so same deal again. Summoning the assassin's program. I thought we had a harder fight ahead of us, but that hasn't been the case. There we go. This, uh, the, the white eyes only can destroy your persona, which is the online persona. And the only thing that happens once that's destroyed is that we're going to be locked out. The black eyes can uh, attack the character Isabel herself. We're forcing our way through that. So far, we're still doing very well. Uh, that was not so good. That was not so good at all. Okay, so we're reducing the overall system track. Um, we can do that every eight rounds. This is the suppression cooldown. It's kind of the, the trace goes down. And then we need to hurry uh, killing uh, these tracer eyes because uh, they add 20 trace every single turn, which means we were net neutral. We reduced it by quite a bit, but it also increased by quite a bit. All right, halfway, halfway upgraded uh, system. We're uh, already 145, so we gotta be careful uh, now. No more just breaking through. This here is going to be a more serious fight, so we're pulling out our programs. And uh, before we do that, uh, let's go over here. So we're, we take cover ourselves. Damn it. All right, our other program can cast a shield on Isabel and then moves into cover. Yeah, Isabel certainly has taken some damage, so might as well heal ourselves. Buffing our programs so that they can actually hit, hit for shit. Their accuracy is elsewise pretty low. There we go. All right. One of our programs is down, which means we're not getting it back, unfortunately. Nice, that was a pretty solid crit. Moving into cover. And let's buff ourselves. By the way, we're at 180. We gotta be very careful. They only add five trays each, but it just adds up. If you're in combat for a longer time, the trace rating goes up massively. So in order to not overload the system, we uh, we had to kill one of them. Okay, we're not assassinating it yet. All we're doing is damaging it for now. Perfect. Because now we can use our cooldown again. And after we've used that, it's time to strike. Perfect. Done deal. Good. We're at 145. And uh, we can't just force our way through it, so it's got to be some hack manual hacking. Oh, 
Oh, damn. Oh no, it was two threes. My bad. All right, there we go. Dang it. Gotta select the right one. M, M, double alpha, that's it. Okay, perfect. Sometimes it's difficult since there are very similar patterns. And it's always a trade off between going through all of them and just giving it a try. All right, that was the last one, so we can actually force our way through it with 195. And that is it. Got everything done, downloaded some data, and we can now alter our credentials, making it in uh, employee credentials. All right, good. Worked like a charm. Perfect. Good, we could like force our way uh, through the actual security uh, checkpoint. But we're not going to do that. Instead, let's move upstairs. So that is the location which we need to um, destroy. And the idea is really to, uh, to disrupt as much of the key um, as we can, the key flow. There are a couple of key points. And essentially, what you're doing is you're making the place darker. And as you can appreciate and imagine, by doing so, we're of course messing up the place quite a bit. And that will have negative consequences. So, I think that was 8484, right? Yeah. Good, we are at 20%. Oh yeah, that room had a lot of key in it. So my mage was way, way more found um, in finding the key points. When he entered the room, he already knew like all of them. So it seems it seems as if the willpower skill or the astral perception of the mage might have made that a lot easier. 
Good, we're getting company outside. It does sound like someone is really, really, really upset about what we're doing here. And you can already see who that is going to be. We have company from a couple of ghosts. Would be great if we can just snatch the ghosts with our um, with our newfound ability. So how about we are handing out some aim? Gaisho can use some. And we are heading out haste. Finally, Isabel gets some aim and now it's time for us to step forward. Lots and lots and lots and lots of ghosts. Nice, she can really steal them. Perfect, that's a cool ability. I'm super happy that that worked. Okay, as for us, we we'll start in control mode. Doberman moves in. So does our drone. Let's take a cover position. We need also a bit of distance between us and uh, the spirits. Um, our melee combatant will give himself active defense. And we're then charging in. Holy shit, that deals a lot of damage. Love it. Moving Isabel back to here. And finally, we got a bound spirit that can flank his body. And boy, I love the ability. We just got it in time before doing the mission. Unfortunately, the Doberman takes a lot of damage here. We're giving Gaishu haste. That way he can attack again. And his attack is dealing a lot of damage. At the same time, we're simply killing uh, this guy here and our sniper. <laughs> wow. All right. Pretty damn good. Um, of course, at some point, the spirit broke free. Oh boy, I misclicked that one pretty badly. Could have attacked him. I think it doesn't matter. I think we'll get the kill anyways. Uh, maybe not. There we go. Okay, 
So, these were the ghosts that inherited this place, but believe me, these, uh, the mission is far from over. We're still desecrating the place. Got ourselves 150 million there. That's good. Good, I think. Oh, nice. Uh, because we had such a high intelligence, we identified a weapon system. And that's 550 Nguyen right there. Stashing it. Great. Good, we're destroying the toilet. It's an interesting job. Uh, you're getting paid to destroy the toilet. And this is the main place, the head office. Good, we got ourselves the mainframe code. And now, since we have disrupted the key for 50%, there is already a physical manifestation. Um, plus, it allows us to ascend. to the rooftop. And that's where the real magic is going to happen. I remember this to be quite interesting because there were, were a lot of caster spots, these ley lines that you can see here. Uh, now without the caster spots, it might be a bit different. Good, we're starting with control mode. And control mode, Sparklight is just replicating himself into the drones. Goblet needs to take over one of uh, the spirits. I'm wondering if she can take over multiple of the spirits. That would be incredibly cool. All right. And Isabel moves over here. Line of sight is blocked. Well, that's bad. Yeah, no chance we're not hit hitting on this distance. We would need a sniper drone for that and Look who coincidentally had a sniping drone. Oh, wow. The damage is actually quite good. Good, we got a heal uh, if we would need one. Armor reduction and 24 points of damage plus a kill. Uh, yeah. Alright, Saiken gets, um, Sparklight gets two actions and directly uh, kills this guy. Oh, 
Only downside of taking over the spirits is just when the fight ends, they are sort of in heavy cover. Could we, for instance, just take him over? Yeah, we can take him over, but we can't move him because as we're taking as we're taking it over, the combat automatically ends. Yeah, okay. I I understand the ability now. Luckily, with haste and uh, stance of the heaven, which is the aggressive uh, melee stance of Daichu, we were able to just kill this guy. A couple of key points up here that we can disrupt. It almost saddens me, it's such a nice garden. Good. This time I think we're not going to take over one of uh, the spirits. Both of them are pretty much in the open, which is exactly what our drone uh, wants. Good. Daichu charges in. Yeah, we barely failed to kill this one. But I think Daichu with his haste should be able to kill him. Yeah, okay, easy. Easy. One other mechanic that you should be aware of is at the end of the combat, um, all of the most recent wounds are being healed. So it's a nice feature to kind of prevent dragging out combats for healing. And when we now desecrate the statue, we should be at 100%. Yeah, perfect. Okay, that's where we get uh, the extra karma. And we now simply want to leave, which of course, as you can imagine, it's not as easy as it might sound. <sighs> because a couple of mages are pretty unhappy about that. Leave no survivors. And if I recall correctly, uh, that fight was actually pretty damn uh, challenging. We are going to use our drones. We're going to summon a spirit just to get another body on the, um, on the floor here. Armor for for Gai Daichu. Uh, that way he will be able to withstand potential melee attacks. All right, good. Moving into cover with our sniper. 21 points of damage. Holy shit. Doberman moves closer and finishes. Uh, by the way, also in cover. Daichu. 
takes Sons of the Heavens and charges into cover, but also deals damage. Uh, we're going to steal um, one of the enemy spirits, if they pop one. In the meantime, let's position ourselves here, behind full cover. And Isabel doesn't matter that we hit our own ghost. It matters though that we hit everyone else. That was a very solid hit, 17 uh, hit points. Uh, that was an AoE mana uh, blast, ignoring armor. But we can heal Daichu, and they are currently trying to hit the, uh, the Earth Elemental, which is the worst thing that they could do. There we go. Heal 17, that was pretty valuable. Holy shit. Okay, I stand corrected. The elemental does not need any help whatsoever. It has just literally wrecked the entire uh, enemy force. Okay, before we charge in, let's take a couple of shots. Didn't work. Aim shot. Yeah, that worked better. Well, that went way smoother than in my previous playthrough. Uh, part of it was probably the ravaging Earth Elemental that they all like clustered around. Um, and then the Earth Elemental just started completely um, tearing them apart. I think it hit for 22, took away their action points, then crit, it, uh, crit again hit again and essentially just completely wipe them in a single round. Um, spirits generally do have um, up to four actions per round. They are extremely fast and that's why I like summoning them even if they only have like moderate buffs and, and small spells from time to time. They are a good um, additional resource and that's why I would um, also rate the Red Shem and Gobbo um, as a pretty strong NPC character uh, because uh, once per run she can summon these uh, things uh, with her talisman in, in her equipment and from time to time the environment uh, as you have seen here allows you to summon those ghosts and when it does it can turn the tide of the battle um, a bit. So I like that kind of uh, dependence uh, dependency on the environment, the ley lines and the summoning. Um, that was that's pretty damn good. I could use the marking a bit more to um, to mark a main target. We'll probably do that uh, from now on. It just wasn't necessary. My playthrough with the mage was pretty different because the mage with the aim two spell that we've got uh, that we've gotten increases uh, the aim of um, of yourself plus um, plus uh, a target around you, which makes it very easy for you uh, to buff your entire party. Good. We're increasing uh, cyber affinity, and next next time we're essentially going for body five and cyber affinity five, which is what is needed for um, for the wild reflexes. And afterwards, we're going for um, for our uh, quickness upgrade.
just like I mentioned it beforehand. Audio has an update for us from time to time. Uh, the story just progresses. Good, so um, this time the news is uh, that they have wired up a secured line and found who the killer of our father is. Our father is called Raymond and this plastic-faced man is supposedly killed him. He had been uh, instructed by, uh, by the CEO of uh, Xang Mechanical Services. Um, she uh, she's the uh, main power behind the scenes, so to, uh, so, uh, so to speak. Um, she seemed to be willing to uh, like go above and beyond to, to get Raymond killed. And it's unclear at this point um, what Josephine Xang um, wanted from, from Raymond. But that will become clearer as we're playing through more runs. So a bit of an update for your uh, from the father. Um, auntie is continuing to look for this guy. We need payment because money talks. And thus we are opening our runs. Let's take a look. 2200 perfect uh, we are also accessing Shadowland and claim our payment for the for the data that we have um, sold so it's another 500 and we post the um, uh, the data from the Wuxing building online So, no, we're not going to sleep. We, we don't need to sleep uh, right now. I would much rather invest some more time in finally going and buying some cyberware. Good. Let's start with the things that are absolutely crystal clear. I like the uh, the vision magnification passive plus six percent to hit. So we're going for that. That's a thousand gone already. I like the Aris uh, plating. We wanted to get uh, more body and armor, but uh, before we do so, I want to upgrade uh, uh, our body once once more to five, so that we are not paying extra karma uh, for doing that. Uh, same with any of uh, the physical attribute uh, bon uh, bonuses here. So this. Is probably going to be something that we're going to look into as well. Right arm, left left arm. I am pretty positive that we are most likely going to go for uh, quickness and ranged combat. I like that idea. Could go uh, for jolt alert um, as well, but quickness range combat is costs so little um, essence and the price is also quite moderate so that's good you know what i'm also probably going to get the magnetic arm um, because i've uh, installed that earlier and i actually really really like it so what the magnetic arm is doing is uh, the enemies will uh, will use a lot of grenades like that's one of their favorite abilities uh, whenever you cluster up in in cover and the magnetic arm just basically throws all of the grenades back so i'm even considering to take that one now it costs one essence but that's fine 
it is very well invested and was one of the cyberware that helped me out quite uh, quite a bit and since the other cyberware isn't that expensive essence wise i mean this here's like what another essence so two more for the legs we're at four the body is um yeah, plus one to all stats, so that's 3.5 skin, 2.5 right arm um, would be another uh, 0 0.3, yeah, and we're probably not getting more than that, so uh, we're not going to go for any cyber weapon. There are a couple of cool ones, but we don't have the money to to completely um, uh, do that so for now let's keep it uh, keep it simple uh, next upgrade uh, our next upgrade um, would be our uh, body i know our skin actually the dermal plating because we have hopefully finished the body attribute by then and that will bring us to quickness where we need to dump uh, quite a few uh, points into quickness to get um, to get like upgraded quickness um, and upgraded dodge once all of that is upgraded i would go for the legs um, as well as uh, the actual body plus one to all stats is good so we would yeah we would have um, we would have quite positive uh, physical stats the alternative for plus one to all physical attributes which accounts to 10 hit points strength is irrelevant for us and um, uh, uh, a bit of um, mobility so the speed would be instead plus one dodge and plus one movement throwing weapons are irrelevant eh, that isn't bad either Oh, I totally forgot we wanted to get uh, wild reflexes. Ah, we can get them right now. Costs and essence cost. Totally forgot about that. So, yep, let's get wild reflexes. Because that will uh, basically give us the ability to self-haste ourselves. So, that's pretty damn good. <coughs> Another option would be, I think there was a skin <coughs> that um, gave you the ability to heal yourself. Uh, when triggered, regenerates. Yeah, we. that might be an option for us as well. So the jury is out between one armor and the ability to regenerate hit points. Um, so 18 hit points continuously, um, which will be which will be making um, which will be making uh, the uh, med kits obsolete so we have a self-healing ability it's almost by thinking about it for the character that we're building it's almost better than just increasing armor because we can get a decent amount of armor um, and this here is just one less armor a few le less hit points 10 to be precise but you can uh, you can heal yourself. Hmm. So uh, on the other hand, you could make the argumentation, you know what, if you have enough hit points, then screw it and then have armor, uh, you're going to be fine. Uh, so that's a tough one. I will need to think about that a bit more. For now, we got wild reflexes. We got um, an additional plus six to hit. And we got the absolute overpowered ability to throw, bre uh, throw back grenades. Which means we're halfway into becoming a cyber monster. Goodbye. It's time for us to go. Uh, by the way, maybe before we uh, leave 250. Uh, I don't like wasting money. Now nah, we're we're not uh, purchasing the dog wagon contract instead. 
Let's sell a bunch of stuff. As good as the mummy talisman is, 400 Nguyen are a pretty, pretty, uh, a pretty good argument. So we're back to almost 3000 Nguyen. And we're trying to like play as, as greedy as possible. So we can invest more into uh, cyberware. And look at that, our character now has a nice little cyber arm. Can't see the eyes, but you can see the cyber arm. Yeah. Once we get our body up to five, we can then also uh, use the dermal plating and that will make us way more tanky at the moment we only have uh, one armor and i haven't invested in a in a new set of clothes um, i'm just waiting for the highest level clothes to appear anyways that's it for today thank you so much for watching we're going to see each other in the next episode uh, leave a comment down below and take care bye bye